everyone, this is Scarlet. Let's play Dragon Age. I decided to do this as a next let's play, even though this is my sixth or seventh time attempting to record it. Let's hope it goes well this time. I'm going to stop it um, very early on, just to see. I've been having desync issues with fraps for some reason, but let's just get on with it. Now I have a couple mods installed. They're mostly bug fixes, uh, dialogue tweaks, uh, combat tweaks, etc. And quite a few character creation mods for faces and stuff because why not? So, new game. God, I hope it works this time. I'm getting very frustrated, but then I just want to play the game. And so is the Golden City blackened with each step you take in my hall. Marvel at perfection, for it is fleeting. You have brought sin into heaven and doom upon all the world. The Chantry teaches us that it is the hubris of men which brought the Darkspawn into our world. The mages had sought to usurp heaven, but instead they destroyed it. They were cast out twisted and cursed by their own corruption. They returned as monsters, the first of the Darkspawn. They became a blight upon the lands, unstoppable and relentless. The Dwarven Kingdoms were the first to fall, and from the deep roads, the Darkspawn drove at us again and again, until finally we neared annihilation. women from every race, warriors and mages, barbarians and kings. The Grey Warden sacrificed everything to stem the tide of darkness and prevail. been four centuries since that victory, and we have kept our vigil. We have watched and waited for the Darkspawn to return. But those who once called us heroes have forgotten. We are few now, and our warnings have been ignored for too long. Seen with my own eyes what lies on the horizon. Maker, help us all. Dun dun dun. So, since I've tried it so many times and it still hasn't worked, I already know exactly what I'm going for. Female, human, rogue, human noble. My Freaking. face is... Come on, where are you? No, that's too far. There we go. That's my face. Mm. That's my skin. My... Ooh, that's pretty hair. Um, my hair is... Where is it? There. That's my hair. That's 
my hair. And these are my eyebrows. This is my eye shape, my eye size, my voice, Charm. and my name. So, and as I did before, one, one, two, one, two, next. This just goes to show that I've been uh, preparing for this. Normal. Hopefully it doesn't desync this time. I will check it after the first conversation with your father. For generations, your family, the Kuzlans, has stewarded the lands of Hyever, earning the loyalty of your people with justice and temperance. When your country was occupied by the Orlesian Empire, your father and grandfather served the embattled kings of your land. Today, your elder brother takes up House Kuzlan's banner in service to the crown. Not against the men of Orlais, but against the bestial darkspawn rising in the south. I trust then that your troops will be here shortly. I expect they will start arriving tonight, and we can march tomorrow. I apologize for the delay, my lord. This is entirely my fault. No, no. The appearance of the Darkspawn in the south has us all scrambling, doesn't it? I only received the call from the king a few days ago myself. I'll send my eldest off with my men. You and I will ride tomorrow just like the old days. True. But we both had less grey in our hair then. And we fought all lesions, not monsters. <laughs> At least the smell will be the same. I'm sorry, hey, Papa, I didn't see you there. How? You How's remember it going? I see she's become a lovely young woman. Pleased to awesome, see you right? again, my dear. Uh, is your family here, Earl Howe? Oh no, I left them in Amaranthine, well away from the fighting in the south. They do send their best wishes. My son Thomas asked after you. Perhaps I should bring him with me <laughs> next time. <laughs> to what end? I have no interest in an arranged marriage. See what I contend with, Hal? There is no telling my fierce girl anything. Yep, I'm these days. independent. Make her bless her heart. Quite talented, I'm sure. One to watch. That man's creepy. At any rate, Pop, I summoned you for a reason. While your brother and I are both away, I'm leaving you in charge. Woohoo! Party! Castle. But. But what if I want to fight? I mean, I have these lovely swords. I'm certain you'd more than prove yourself, but I am not willing to deal with your mother if you join the war. She'd kill me if I let you go. She's already twisted into knots about Fergus and me going. Uh, if you let me talk to her, I'll convince her. I doubt that. You know your mother, and she made it clear but, there is but no debate. But, I'm an adult! This is no needless task. I ask you to take a great Elena. responsibility. Only a token force is remaining here, and you must keep peace in the region. You know what they say about mice when the cat is away, yes? There's also someone you must meet. Please, show Duncan. That man's shield is floating on his back. And these swords have no sheaths. It is an honor to also be a guest within backs. your hall, Tyrion Coosland. Your Lordship, you didn't mention that a Grey Warden would be present. Duncan arrived just recently. Unannounced. Is there a problem? Of course not. But a guest of this stature demands certain protocol. I am at a disadvantage. We rarely have the pleasure of seeing one in person, that's true. Pup, Brother Aldous taught you who the Grey Wardens yep, yep. are, I hope. I have played this little conversation so many times trying to get this to work that they defeated Darkspawn long ago. Not permanently, I fear. Without their warning of the Darkspawn rising now, half the nation could have been overrun before we'd had a chance to react. Duncan is looking for recruits before joining us and his fellow wardens in the south. I believe he's got his eye on Sir Gilmore. If I might be so bold, I would suggest that your daughter is also an excellent candidate. Honor though that might be, this is my daughter but, we're talking about. But I want to be fighting. I want to be a great warden. 
I have not so many children that I'll gladly Damn see it. them all off to battle. Unless you intend to Please? invoke the right of conscription. Have no fear. While we need as many good recruits as we can find, I have no intention of forcing the issue. Pup, can you ensure that Duncan's requests are seen to while mm, I'm gone? Fine. In the meantime, find Fergus and tell him to lead the troops to Ostagar ahead of me. Oh, right, right. Dialogue choices. Wasn't paying attention. Um, but are you trying to get rid of me? <laughs> we must discuss the battle plans in the south. Be a good lass and do as I've asked. But I'm not we'll a good talk lass. Soon. All right, let's see if it worked. So far it's working. Let's check and see if it keeps working. As I might have that. to stop every 10, 15 minutes or so in the recording. Just to make sure. There you are. Your mother told me hey, the town had summoned you, so I didn't want to interrupt. Oh. Are you looking for I me? I fear your hound has the kitchens in uproar once again. And is know. threatening to leave. Hmm. Did the dog get into the larder again? No matter how the maids try to keep him out, he always finds a way in. You know these Mavari hounds. He'll listen to his mistress, but anyone else risks having an arm bitten off. Ah, <laughs> uh, then I guess I should go collect them. Him. That would be dog. wise before Nan tears down the walls. You're quite lucky to have your own Mabari warhound, you know. Smart enough not to talk, my father used to say. Of course, that means he's easily bored. Nan swears he confounds her just to amuse himself. At any rate, your mother would have me accompany you until the matter is settled, shall we? Sure, 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 sure. To the just kitchen, follow then. the yelling. When Nan's unhappy, she makes sure everyone knows it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mischief in the larder. Let's go find ourselves a puppy. Oh no, I hear's the puppy. And so I shall. Hey, Nan. Get that puppy? bloody mutt out of the larder. But mistress, it won't let us near. It's not a mutt! If I can't get into that larder, I'll skin both of you useless elves. I swear it. Uh, calm down, good woman. We've come to help. You and you. Your bloody mongrel keeps getting into my larder. That beast should be put down. Hey! Hey! He's not a mongrel. He's a pure blood mabari. A blight my wolf is awesome. what he is. How am I supposed to work like this? Oh dear. Mistress, calm down, please. That's it. I'll quit. Inform the turner. I'll go and cook at some nice estate in the Banorn. Nan, please. Uh... We'll get the dog. Calm down. Just get this him woman. gone. I've enough to worry about with a castle full of hungry soldiers. You two, stop standing there like idiots. Get out of the way. That woman is mean. Damn. Mean old woman. Oh, it's a puppy! He's so cute. <laughs> oh, look at that mess. Aww. How did he even get in here? He's so cute! How could you say no to that face? Aww. <laughs> what a smart boy you are. Oh, you so far. Oh, encourage the hound, why don't you? No wonder he keeps yep, yep. giving Nan fits. <laughs> Hey, my dog is awesome. He does seem like he's trying to tell you something. Wait, do you hear that? 